Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for September 18th through the 24th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in how does Sagittarius feel about the person on their mind I see you learning from this experience with this person and giving it some deep thought and along your journey, you are closing out this chapter. However, where you're like, I'm over the hurt, you're still not feeling whole. You feel like you haven't completely gained your energy back, um, but you are doing like meditation, some nice quiet walks, you know, spending more time doing things for yourself and it's allowing you to really come to terms in full circle with this situation and how it's going. So three of swords in reverse, the sun in reverse and the hermit coming out. You needed some time alone to really think about this situation and, and if you wanted it back. And I, I like that you are really reflecting on what you feel is good for you um, and how much you've grown. So let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you. So they feel that you are like the devil, uh, the devil, the king of wands and the seven of swords, as well as the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They feel like this is a toxic relationship, situationship, that you're not good for them, that you're controlling, that, you know, you like we're not good together and you're very attractive. So they, they end up going back to that and deceive themselves by how attractive you are by going back to something they know is not good for them. Um, cause they're feeling like, well, maybe we can work together and make this work, but, um, they feel like this is not good. I need to move on, but they can't because they keep coming back. Um, and they lack trust in you. They feel like they can't believe you half the time. So let's go ahead and um, get the connection between the two of you. All right. So we have the two of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles, as well as the queen of wands in the connection. There's this balance of wanting to make a commitment or things to be successful between the two of you and, uh, really wanting that really wanting things to, um, thrive and, and be great. However, the King of Swords is saying, but I'm giving this some real thought. Like I'm putting my mind instead of my, my heart, my emotions into it. I'm now looking at no, in order to make it work, it has to be both ways. And just feeling like this isn't a good fit for the both of you, um, in your own way. So let's go ahead and clarify. We're going to start with a three of swords in reverse. Okay, so yeah, three of swords in reverse, no longer feeling the pain. You're over that, you're healing from this heartbreak, you're closing this chapter, pushing yourself forward to move on, even though you kind of look back a little bit, it's normal to do so. Um, the world card, the justice card, and as well as the six of swords, and at the bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune. So don't stay looking back at the past. Make sure that as you're moving on, you're looking towards the present because there is some blessings ahead of you and destiny is trying to show you 
Um, you know, God is trying to show you, the universe is trying to you put all these signs in and synchronicities and symbols and just little things out there for you to see that there's something ahead of you that's much better for you or that's going to align more with your purpose and your happiness. Um, but because you are looking back a little bit, that's where that sun, you feel like my energy is still tied to this person and I'm just not seeing the growth just yet, but you're trying to move on. So that's good. Um, you know, little by little each day will help and reminding yourself that you are better off moving forward towards something that benefits your growth will be good for you. There's still this lingering pain, um, with this person even though you're like, I'm over the heartbreak, a little bit of healing still um, is needing to happen for you. And it does look like is for your own self growth and love here. And that's what you're focused on. Um, you're like, I'm not, you'll tell yourself things like this two of swords right here. Like I, I'm not looking at them. I don't care about them. I don't, the, it doesn't bother me anymore. However, they still are attached to your energy and you're feeling drained, um, worn out here. You need to give yourself a little rest and relaxation and focus on you more than this person is what is coming out here for you. And, you know, yes, don't allow them to stress you out or the situation to stress you out as you progress forward. Do it one thing, one day at a time. Um, and just remember that you got this moving forward. Let's go ahead and clarify this hermit because there is some reflection here. Yeah, deep reflection. Okay, we have another card of reflection. Um, the hangman comes out looking at things and releasing control, which is shocking for you to do. Um, You've realized that in order for things to really work out in your favor and to feel better, um, that you have to release control and surrender to the universe, which definitely destroys everything that you know about, well, I, I typically make the decisions for myself and if it's going to happen, then I'm going to make it happen. Um, so this is something like I'm going to continue to work really hard on myself and rebuild um, and just release control of if this is meant to be, it would happen. However, it is a little, it's like groundbreaking is what I'm getting that groundbreaking that you're working really hard towards um, becoming this different person, having this rebirth and shedding one old, you know, layer or skin of yours and, and embracing this new person of who you are or, you know, stepping into a new version of yourself um, along your journey. And I like that for you. So let's go ahead and clarify the devil. So they feel that this is a very toxic union between the two of you and that love is pretty much based off of appearance and looks. Um, they're questioning that. Is it just that I want, you know, Sagittarius for their looks? Do they just want me for looks? Um, they're really stuck in their head about, you know, letting go of you, finding a good balance, harmony, being patient about things and they're having to demonstrate patience within themselves, but it's hard for them to do. Also with the fact that they're so attracted to you, but they know that this is not a good relationship. There's like this toxic um, energy between the two of you. And so they feel stuck. They feel bound. They feel like, I just want balance. I want peace. I want things to work out, but it just doesn't get there. So let's go ahead and clarify this King of Wands. And it could also be that, you know, they feel that you're so attractive. They have some insecurities of their own that um, make them feel like they couldn't keep you or they might have a tendency to get a little jealous about things that they normally don't get jealous about. 
Um, this King of Wands is clarified by the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, as well as the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck right here. So pushing themselves forward, making a plan that they're investing in themselves, new ideas, um, new growth, and they're actually executing this plan, okay? So they're putting things into action for themselves to move on here. Let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Swords. And they're also realizing that what they thought was love was more just of an attraction to you than it was of like true love. They end up deceiving themselves by trying to move on in a different path with hurt and pain. Um, and like, no, I'm just going to, you know go after something else and it's going to work itself out there's they're deceiving themselves by saying i'm not hurt i don't feel the pain or that they didn't do anything to hurt you um so we have the page of wands the nine of wands as well as the king of wands here so giving this a chance and and pushing themselves forward to focus on you know new relationships um with friends, coworkers, things like that, mingling with new people, joining groups, hobbies, like uh, group hobbies, things of that nature. I don't really see a relationship, but I feel that their financial success is what they're really after more than anything. And they feel like if they just stay motivated to keep themselves going in the direction of, well, I'm gonna be very successful, I'm gonna make a name for myself and this, that, and the other, that they're going to forget about the hurt and the pain um, in this situation with you. Okay, we are not ready for these Oracle messages, but I will just go ahead and get them out. I don't know why I was just called to get them before I even got your outcome. So let's get your outcome between the two of you. Then I will grab those Oracle messages. Sorry about that. Sometimes it's just what I'm called to do and I'm just doing it. And then I'm like, wait, what are you doing? Uh, okay. Outcome between the two of you. Hmm. Interesting. It does feel like this person wants to come back into your life um, and bring balance to the both of you by offering you something, wanting to celebrate with you over a holiday is whenever it's really going to bother them. Um, but you have other options and it's also because they see that you have other options. Temperance card, the six of pentacles and the four of wands. So life gets better for you in a sense of, you know, you find this balance here. I'm seeing them wanting this, you know, there's, there's equal give or take towards a relationship here for you. Um, finding a twin flame or soulmate. I'm going to say soulmate. I feel like this is more of your twin flame person here. And when you're with this soulmate here, they're going to be like, wait, now I want a chance because, you know, there's a choice to be made um, for you, but they're looking at the different options and choices of how am I going to get Sagittarius back whenever I let them go or whenever I didn't, you know, realize that I wanted this. Um, and financially, if they're trying to make a name for themselves or something like that, they want to celebrate. And when they do, they want to talk to you. It's like you're the person that they want to turn to and be like, guess what happened for me? So personal choice card comes out first and it's going to be close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. Okay. The next one is going to be the lion card. So higher calling you have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Absolutely. And then the last one is going to be the Ram card, Perseverance. Okay. And it says, you have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. So this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.